Hi, Mark Gordon with GoldenTicker.com on Wednesday, November 21st, 2012 with a gold, silver, and stock forecast. This is the GLD, the gold ETF, and you can see that we're forming this wedging pattern here. It is drifting down slightly, which is a good sign actually. Good consolidation here coming in on low volume, which is uh, actually good as well. Uh, so nice sideways movement on the GLD. Uh, let's hope we get a resolution to the upside breaking through. This overhead line would be the first step. And then uh, we're probably going to get a little bit of a battle going on here at this blue line, the 50-day moving average, which also converges here with this shadowed area, which is the Bollinger Band. Now, Bollinger's are a mathematical algorithm designed to keep prices within them 95% of the time. So chances are we're going to get uh, a little bit of a battle here and see if we can't uh, uh, push through that after maybe uh, drifting uh, sideways a little bit. That would be the best case scenario here. But gold forming uh, sort of a cup-shaped pattern. Had a bit of a shakeout here back at the beginning of the month here and uh, uh, performing nicely here. Um, above some key moving averages here, this is the 200-day, uh, this black dotted line, and the 100-day, the green dotted line, has moved above the 100. So good sign there. Uh, 50 above the uh, 100 and 200, good sign there. Uh, let's try to get this 21-day moving average to swing around and cross up above the 50, which would be very bullish for our short-term traders. So gold looking good. Moving on now to a weekly chart of the GLD, up about 1% for the week. You can see our consolidation here. Uh, the last uh, uh, three weeks, a sideways movement, uh, fighting a battle, trying to get over this 10-week moving average here, getting held uh, back by it so far. Uh, this corresponds, of course, to the 50-day moving average. So let's see if we can punch through that and then have an assault here on 174.07. Now, if you look at the bigger picture of the GLD, you can see the cup and now the handle and now trying to uh, uh, punch above the handle. We have broken the downtrend of the handle, moving in a sideways pattern. So uh, big picture uh, for gold looking strong. And here's, here's the SLV, the silver uh, ETF, up a little over half a percent right now. Stronger. Uh, we have now up above the 50-day moving average right now on the SLV. Uh, top of the range here, uh, trying to punch up through. Now, we have been moving up uh, uh, for the last several weeks here, and uh, a few little uh, pullbacks here, but a nice move uh, up above key moving averages and now up above the 50-day moving average. Volume is light. It is the holidays, uh, but I'd love to see some convincing volume and two days of closes above the 50-day moving average, and I will be convinced that uh, that the assault on it has succeeded. Uh, you can see the cup-shaped pattern here forming. And uh, silver looking strong, got some momentum. You can see the 21-day moving average flattening out and starting to hook up. This gray line, the 10-day moving average in a solid uptrend. And uh, the 50-day moving average has flattened out with a little bit of upside bias. So technicals looking good on the SLV. Looking at a weekly chart of the SLV, you can see us punching up through the 10-week moving average, this blue line. You can see the four-week moving average hooking up to the upside. And above these key moving averages here, you can see the 20-week uh, has crossed the 40-week. So good action on the SLV so far. Looks like uh, we're ready for an assault to take out 3408. 3408 is our key here. Uh, you'll notice that the Bollinger Band on the weekly chart is around at 3550, 3560. Uh, so uh, that would be our next point of resistance after uh, taking out 3408. NASDAQ Composite up about 0.4%. You can see our down channel still intact. We did punch through it here uh, earlier in the weekend, a bit last week, on some pretty heavy volume, but got a nice heavy volume rebound here. Uh, you can see that that volume, uh, this was on Monday, and uh, that volume coming up off the bottom eclipsed uh, a, a lot of this uh, uh, heavy volume selling. So that's a good sign. That's a sign of conviction. Uh, we did get a gap the next, uh, uh, well, that was a gap, I'm sorry, uh, uh, on that, and uh, uh, which is a good sign. Uh, gapping out of these uh, uh, bottoms uh, shows conviction, and now we're following through on some lighter volume. It is the holidays, though, uh, like I had mentioned. But, um, uh, you know, we're not out of the woods yet. We still have the downtrend line in place. 
Uh, we're going to come up against this 21-day moving average, uh, which is falling rapidly, this red line. And we're going to come across this overhead trend line here, uh, which could offer us some resistance as we try to move up. If we do break through this, our next stop uh, uh, will be a battle here at the 200-day moving average. And uh, that's coming in at around uh, 2984, 2984, actually 2985. And then we have uh, this 100-day moving average up above that. So uh, uh, the uh, NASDAQ composite uh, fighting a battle here. We do have the 50-day moving average hooking around with momentum to the downside. Uh, so uh, your key moving averages, are uh, uh, your slower term ones, are moving down very rapidly. And looking here at a weekly chart, uh, we're down, uh, I'm sorry, up 2.6% uh, on the NASDAQ this week. And you can see our bounce up off the bottom. Uh, not a lot of volume uh, uh, yet. It's only Wednesday. Uh, we do have a holiday week. Not sure if we're going to get any, any real good volume here. But uh, coming up off the bottom, possibly uh, 28, 10, 80 uh, is some sort of a short term bottom. Uh, we're going to fight a battle up here at all these moving averages uh, that are grouped together here. So uh, downtrend continues in the stocks. Uh, I'm on the sidelines watching this, waiting for clear confirmation that we have turned the corner. So just to recap, gold and silver uh, uh, looking strong in the, uh, in the short to intermediate term. Um, uh, they have turned around. Uh, there is now momentum to the upside in the metals. Uh, stocks still in a downtrend with downward momentum. I would stay clear, wait for a clear resolution uh, to a change of trend. So that's great. Um, uh, have, a, have a really fantastic uh, holiday, and uh, uh, we'll see you here uh, back again on Friday.